Hey Bonsai peeps, Mike Toy here, Bonsai Boise. So today, I'm just gonna do a trim on this Ficus Benjamina. This, believe it or not, about less than a year ago, I wanna say last December, um, December 2017, this was just a cutting up one that I got at Fred Meyers, I think, and uh, stuck in a pot and just let it grow, more or less uh, uninhibited, and it went pretty crazy. So I moved these outside in the summertime. I would say maybe like late spring, early summer. Um, not sure exactly what month it is, but basically when it's not freezing at night anymore, I start to move them outside during the day at first. And then when it's really starting to be you know, summertime conditions, and I'll leave them outside at night too. And that's when they take off. The only reason I bring that up is I know a lot of people don't um, take these outside at all. They just keep them as indoor plants, which is fine. They do fine indoors and outdoors, but um, but you can leave them outdoors in the summertime and they grow faster that way too. So if you're trying to grow one and you're trying to get it big and full, um, take it outside in the summertime. I mean, this is one year of growth from a clipping. And the, the clipping was probably about this a year ago. Um, I know it sounds unbelievable, but these things just grow like crazy in the right conditions. So anyways, this won't be too crazy. I'm not going to repot it today. I'm going to leave it in the same pot and I'm just going to trim it up and, and bring it down to a more compact shape. I don't even have a vision for it yet. So normally I'll, I'll kind of review these things a little bit and get an idea of what I'm going to do first and then I'll start recording. But this time I didn't. Uh, so you might see me kind of looking at it like this, uh, just as I'm figuring out which way to go. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to take you through my thought process as I trim this up. And then also, one thing I'll point out with these, if you want to propagate them, they propagate very easy. So it's good to just have a little bucket or a cup of water. So as you take bigger clippings, um, you just stick them in the water and that way they're okay while you're doing your work. And then after you're done doing your work, you Take them out of there, put them in, you know, a pot of soil. It doesn't have to be super high quality bonsai soil for cuttings, just basically anything you got. I usually just keep leftover soil when I do a repot for that purpose. I just use that for cuttings. So.
good movement and it splits from one trunk into two and then two into four um, and so forth. I decided to go with this one as the, the dominant uh, branch and this as the leader right here. You always want to have a leader for the tree that, that you let go. Um, and this is more of a secondary supporting branch. So, but I also wanted to go with, with this one I've always done with kind of a fuller look. So it's not so flat like a lot of bonsais are. In fact, I've got another ficus benjamina right over there that I'm gonna do soon too. And it's it's got a great profile, but as you turn that profile this way, it, it's just very narrow and flat. This one I was doing the opposite. I'm going for a more full approach. It's still kind of got that profile to it, but not as much as some others. So that's what I'm going for. Just trying to strike a balance between having a full look and yet still having a nice profile at the same time. So easier said than done sometimes. Anyways, so there it is. Um, hope you found that helpful. Uh, these are really good trees to start with. If new to bonsai or even if you're not you just want one to play around with so um hope you found this helpful if so click like and subscribe just click on the uh bonsai boise icon right there and um, leave me any comments that you have if you've got one and you've learned other cool tricks to them leave them in the comments love to see them um, otherwise thanks for watching